Hey everyone, how are we doing? You have Mike here. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about my MERS setup again today. Um, on my last video about a month ago, I basically just took a bunch of plants and threw them in dirt and didn't really explain too much what I was doing. I was basically just uh, testing grounds, wanted to see what uh, you guys thought about having any MERS grow system. Um, I, I see that a couple of you guys actually do have some uh, setup, which is really cool. And I've talked to a few people and, uh, you know, winged some ideas off, off everybody and uh, kind of came up to what we have now. And um, basically, I've had amazing results in doing this. Um, I'm really impressed with how everything's actually turned out. Um, so I do want to mention right now that the, the AR Mini, like, wow, look at this growth. This is only in, you know, a little under a week and a half because last week, um, probably about a week and a half ago now, I had cut a lot of the AR Mini and I threw it into the 35 gallon tank. Um, and that's just because some people were a little bit concerned that even though we showed last video that uh, the plants were going to melt back, that uh, they actually wanted to see it for themselves. So uh, what I have done is I've actually cut some AR Mini. And I actually even cut a couple pieces of the uh, starage and repens, and I put some of that into the 35 gallon at all uh, as well. And uh, yeah, I'm seeing some amazing growth in, in everything that we put into there. So um, yeah, I guess let's just talk a little bit about it, and we'll show you what's going on first. So I do have some Busa Philatra here, and I actually do have new leaves coming off, um, actually off of each individual plant that I have in here, which is really cool. And once again, it has some storage and reference, which um, I'm probably going to pull the boost out and get a new tray just for the boost itself. Um, and then we're going to uh, just get some more storage and reference going. Um, I do need quite a bit of storage and reference because I want to make a little carpet um, within my 35 gallon in the front. So I need a lot of that stuff. So I need to kind of transplant over. And this year within the month has actually quad like doubled. If you've seen from the original video, um, I only had a couple pieces of Stargen repens in there, and now I have enough to uh, to set up a whole other tray. So, it's double production. Uh, same thing here with the Air Mini. Like, I've doubled, probably even almost triple production. So, it depends on what type of plants you want to have into your immerse setup. Um, so, the only plants that haven't really doubled or tripled, quadrupled, are the grasses, the dwarf hair grass, stuff like that. Now, they are growing. But they're not growing really fast. And I do notice that they took quite a long time for them to actually um, acclimate to switching over from, from you know, in a tank over to an immerse system. Um, I definitely did notice that there was quite a bit of time um, taking in that process. Uh, but Plaza did really well too, like the Rotala Bonsai. Um, another one that did really do super amazing was this version of Rotala. Um, I'm not really sure why to say that this version of Rotala did a lot better than this stuff. It seems like anything with the uh, small thin stem maybe didn't do quite as well. Um, but once again, the AR Mini with the thicker, with the thicker stems, the Starge and Repens with the thicker stems, the Bonsai with thicker stems seem to have done a lot better. Um, but not saying that even the star grass that I put in here isn't doing well. Um, it, it does look pretty well, but it's not growing like it would in the tank. So some things maybe it might not be best suited. Like you could probably grow more star grass in in your fish tank with you know pumping CO2 than you could grow um, into the MERS setup. And that's something maybe you'd like to try out later. I'm not sure. I'm actually setting up my 35 gallon now to uh, switch it over to a um, injected CO2 tank. So from there, hopefully we'll be able to get more growth. Um, it's something just that I'm trying to experiment with to, to figure out myself what, what I can do and what are the limits of how we can actually grow it, right? Um, so this has actually been a really interesting project for me, just to watch the plants grow, uh, to see how the differences of them growing a land and in the water has actually just been really neat on its own. Um, so. I want to talk just a little bit about what I did to actually set it up because you guys seen from my first video, I, I it was basic. It was pretty basic. We had uh, two little lights. We didn't even have this grill light at this time, and uh, we basically just screw it together and said, "Hey, let's see how let's see what's gonna happen." Um, so now we've kind of changed a little bit. We still have the uh, uh, 
CFL bulbs in there. But we also have a grow light. And this is just one of those uh, cheap grow lights you can get on Amazon. I believe this one's like 25 bucks, but you can buy a bigger panel. Um, maybe one that even worked for this whole tray. Um, and this is actually a growing tray. We got this from a uh, from a pet store that was uh, closing down years ago. But uh, yeah, very simple to set up. Like I said, it's uh, it's not really costing you that much either. Having a couple little uh, CFL bulbs running, uh, 14 watt bulbs, and uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm basically doubling my plants. So I'm really happy with this. So let's take a look over at the tank and uh, check out some of the plants because this is where some people were actually legitimately concerned about uh, some of the plants melting right back to nothing. So let's take a look. Alright, so I would like to thank everybody who has been watching. We really appreciate that, and we will see you again soon. You guys have yourself a great day.